Hey Leo, welcome to my channel, or welcome back, I should say, baby. Mm -hmm -hmm. You know, it's your girl trying to see the William Viking Queen. Yes, indeed. Go ahead and hit that like button on your way in so you can show your girl some love. Now, you already know what's going on. We're going to get into your March 22 reading. We're going to see what's coming to you, what's already been here, and what's the energy you've already been in. Yeah, we're going to see, baby. So, I already know you're going to love it here. You're going to love it here if you're new, baby. So, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And ring my bell, baby. Yes, ring that thing. So, you can get notified every time I come back with the juicy, juicy news. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. You're going to want to know. You're going to want to know when I come back, baby. Yeah, he sure is. you going to want to get this juice. You're going to want to get this information when I come and give it to you. I know you will. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. You sure will, baby. All right, now let's get right on into it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys and Angels of the Highest White Light. We're going to get into the oracles first. So we can, we're going to see. We're going to see, baby. We're going to get some channeling in it right now, baby. We're going to see. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys and Angels of the Highest White Light. Y'all can be in a very good mood here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys and Angels of the Highest White Light. What are the messages that Leo needs to know for you? This one right here. We got someone soon. Someone soon. So I'm definitely feeling like somebody's gonna, you know, you're gonna get a message. Okay, maybe a message from your Spirit Guys and your Angels. You've already been getting messages, Spirit Guys and your Angels about somebody coming towards you here okay five six seven here yes it's gonna be like very auspicious like you know you're you're not gonna be looking for this person this person is not even gonna be looking for you but really you guys are looking for each other your souls okay your souls are looking for each other your body as a house I'm definitely feeling like this can definitely be a twin flame connection here. You guys are definitely connected to the spiritual realm here because you see it's going through her third eye. It's just going through everywhere. What is that? You know, her heart and her hands is all going to the sky here. I'm feeling like you guys have been telecom like telecommunicating. I don't even know if that's a word, but you guys have been communicating like that, like telekinesis or something. Here, maybe y'all can move things with y'all minds here, like move frequencies which y'all minded and that's how you guys heal each other even if you guys haven't met but if you guys have met your twin flame they are coming back here no bullshit make believe in dependency no bullshit make believe dependency i heard you're no longer dependent okay i feel like both you guys probably you guys have to heal through that dependency issues here I'm feeling like it. you guys are like free as a butterflies. You know, bulls are very aggressive. This bull looks very chill, very chill, surrounded by flowers here. I'm feeling like you guys could like to smell good. You guys are delicate here. You guys are tr gonna treat each other, you know, delicate here, make believe. I'm definitely feeling like there could have been like a lot of people going around trying to, try, you know, spy on you trying to get information on you but i'm feeling like you could see them you could see the mouse you know the mouse is trying to hide get all low here but no you can see it you, you, nothing can get past you here i'm definitely feeling like that these people feel like that they could take something for you from you and you could cry trying to take your fruit and you could cry because you were dependent on them before or they feel like you had to be dependent on them so this is like a different situation from the love situation here Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Angels, and I as well. Your dreams are closer than you think. 44. Like I said before, I posted in community tab session. You guys could be seeing the number 44 here. Then we got twin. Yep, and what I say, twin. Twin flames. Okay. Your dreams are freaking closer than you think, Leo. Okay, and I'm a Leo North node. So yeah, baby, I'm claiming this shit all of it okay your dreams are closer than you think i'm feeling like you're working towards your dreams and they're about to come true for you and i'm definitely feeling like your twin they're working towards their dreams and their dreams are about to come true for them i'm feeling like you guys both have been healing each other i'm feeling like it's about to be an overflow an overflow of everything 
for you. I'm feeling like you're about to reach out and grab it. I'm feeling like the freaking universe is about to get up there and get it for you and bring it down to you. Okay, for from the sky, so from from wherever they gotta go from this high place here. It's all about to be yours. I feel like you're gonna have to be able to protect your heart. Okay, when you get all these things. Okay. You guys could be seeing tens, ten, ten. Something could, you know, happen, you know, ten days apart, ten steps apart. You and your twin could be ten months apart here, ten years apart. Okay, I'm definitely feeling like you, you guys as a collective have been protecting your heart. You guys have gift from the past that you brought here to this earth that you guys are supposed to be using, you know, to heal the earth here. And it was only a matter of time before you guys met, before you guys came back together, before you guys crossed paths again, before they give you a call. Yes, because your light, your light is so bright, it cannot be put out. We're going to read that. They said, read that. Read your light, 51. Your light is so bright, okay? It can light up a dark room. Look how dark that room is. Your light little little light or wildfire your light is your way to navigate navigate the world around you we each bring a new perspective into this light into this life your light illuminates in a particular way that is unique to you remember that it is there for you in the gloomiest nights your flame can at least help you find the next door the next step or thaw your hands touched by the coldness of the frigid winter air remember that your light will always keep you warm. That's what I'm getting, baby. Remember that your light will always keep you warm. I think I'm going to do all Oracle for y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm going to do terrible. Smother. Okay. Yeah, you got lots of people that want to smother your light as well. But fuck that shit here. Rainbow transference. Because you can... You're a transmuter. Okay, I don't know why. I had a freaking... I had a freaking dream. But for some reason, I'll be thinking that my dreams are real. But I, I, I guess because they are. And uh, now, now it's coming back to me right now. It's time you guys could be remembering your dreams. I feel like these dreams are past lives. I was having a conversation or, or this, or they were me. They're like, I'm a transmuter. I'm a transmuter. I, I transmute energy. That, that, that's me. I, I'm a transmuter. And that, that's really all I remember. Okay, but I'm feeling like you transmute the negative energy in the world. That's why you have to go outside. I'm feeling like that's why, you know, sometimes I can just be going outside for no reason. But it's not really for no reason because I transmute energy. Uh, like, I think this one within like an 8 feet or a 10 feet radiance. Who knows? It could be stronger than that. But when we go outside, we change the freaking tempo. We switch up the tempo, like literally, quite literally. Okay, hiding. I'm feeling like, yeah, a lot of star seeds. Or, you know, maybe y'all been in hiding, y'all been scared to go outside, shit like that. Yeah, you know, that's not unusual. Sometimes it'd it be like that, but you got to get out of that state where, where you feel like you don't want to go outside 8, 18 on the clock. I heard there's money out there. There's money out there. They said, are we hiding because we are crying? Or are we crying because we are hiding? Feeling fragile and emotional can also bring one of the most intense feelings, shame. Why do we need to hide our face? Everyone gets sad. Everyone cries. Everyone feels vulnerable. There needs to be no shame here. But I understand because I hide too. Sometimes you just don't want to see anyone or the world around you. Maybe it has all become too loud and too much. It's perfectly fine to hide away in yourself until things feel safe again. Okay, so... Yeah, for some of you guys, you probably just got into this energy, you know, so it's okay to stay in there for a little while. But for the people that have been in there for a little while, it's time to go back outside, okay? It, it, it's time to, 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 to start, start believing in your light again, to start relying on your light to keep you warm, to start being guided by the light inside you, okay? The all-knower, because you are the all-knower. You have information from past lives. At least one, two, three, four, five, six. Six past lives. At least, baby. And you get it all from the ethers. You get it all from the spirit guides. You get it all from your angels. It's all coming back to you because it really never left. You just you have to tap back into that energy. Okay? Tap back into your, your, your pharaoh. Tap back into your emperor. Tap back into your empress. Stay back. 
and always protect your energy from the stakes that are trying to come back inside your life here. I'm feeling like that's what you're doing. Use your magic to keep these, to back these people up off of you. Fear that the light will bring judgment. These people are scared of your light. They're scared that the light will condemn them. And for some it will. Because they know they ain't doing right and they don't want to do, they don't want to do better. 33, you could be seeing that number, right? Fruits, everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you touch bears fruit here. You are the freaking phoenix. Okay, you do keep on being reborn. You you are a star seed. You have been here before. Okay. That is true. Restlessness. You probably can't sleep at night here. Y'all having vivid dreams. Okay. Cornucopia. Yeah. Three, 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 one. You guys could be seeing 33, 31. Okay. Lots of blessings are coming into your life. Overflow, baby. Yeah, they said end it right there. We're going to get this last card. Scary member. Scary mirror. When they see your light, they, they want to overtake you. They want to take it all. They want to suck you dry. But but that that's not going to fly. That's not gonna fly. That's why you can't sleep at that sleep at night. Some of these people are doing magic on you, but you you you, you get healing through rest, and they know that healing through rest. Okay, so some of y'all you do need to sleep. Okay, the sword, the, your, your sleep is gonna protect you here. You're getting messages in the sleep here. You can't be caught. You're a star. See, eleven forty four on the clock, baby. Huh? And you heard it here first on the Warrior Viking Queen channel. And if you like what I do things here, hit that subscribe button and ring my bell, baby. I'll be back for show and tell. Peace, my little freak. Oh, oh yeah.